Hi, we're here to learn more about phrasal verbs. Um, and today we're going to learn about common phrases with in or out. So phrasal verbs, we combine a verb with a preposition or adverb to create a new phrasal verb and they can become idiomatic expressions. The verb can remain the same, but the with the preposition change, that can change the meaning of the phrase. For example, eat in is comer in casa, but eat out is comer fora da casa, so or in a restaurant. So most of these will have to be memorized. There are many phrasal verbs in English with use, using in or out. Go in, entrar, so, for example, I waited out the shop, outside in the shop, but I didn't go in, and she got in her car. Sometimes the same phrasal verb has two meanings. For example, look out, cuidado, be careful. Look out, the floor is wet. Or look out, olhar para fora, look out the window. I went to the window and looked out. Phrasal verbs using in, in would be Entrar into a car, a building, a room, etc. Go in is to enter. Go out is to exit. So you can see in this picture, go in and go out. How did the thieves get in? Entrar the casa. Lisa walked up to the edge of the pool and dived in the water. I have a new apartment. I'm moving in on Monday. So move in means to change house, mudarsi. As soon as I got to the airport, I checked in, Fazero check in. Also, come in, walk in, break in, which is in bandir, and fill in, pre and share. So, phrasal verbs with out, which was the, the opposite of in, out of a room, out of a building, out of a car. He just stood up and walked out. I had no key, so I was locked out of my house. She swam up to the edge of the pool and dived and climbed out. So opposite of dive in, climbed out. Andy opened the window and looked out. What time do we have to check do we have to check out or leave the hotel? Also go out, get out, move out, let somebody out and eat out. So let's look at these in conversation. Do you love swimming? I love the water. I love to dive in the water. When you get to my house, you can come in or enter. Okay, then we can go out. We can go eat out, go to a restaurant. Did you hear somebody broke into the neighbor's car? Or they, uh, and then uh, they, uh, no, I hope they didn't get into my car. So let's practice. Here's some examples. I'll tell you the first one. Maricela isn't living here anymore. She moved out. So you have to conjugate it to the past tense. So here's their practice time. Stop the video, do the, do the work, and then come back for the answers. So, Maricela isn't living here anymore. She moved out. When I went to the airport to check in, they told me my flight was delayed. The car stopped and the driver got out. Past tense of get is got. We go to restaurants often. We like to eat out. So, eat in restaurants. We were locked out, so we went in through the window. So went in, went is past tense of go. Before you leave, please fill out this questionnaire, pre and share this questionnaire. So for this week, make a list of the phrasal verbs using in and out and try to use them during the week. Pay attention to what you're doing and say, oh, I'm going out, I'm going in. Try to use those in the correct way. Again, here as a reminder are, are the verbs, some of the phrasal verbs using in. You can write those down and some of the phrasal verbs using out. So there are lots of phrasal verbs. So next week, we are going to learn more phrasal verbs with a verb plus the preposition out. I know this is a little confusing, but I think it will really help your fluency. So I hope you'll spend some time practicing and learning this. Thank you. Bye.